Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on May 7th, 2025. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to The Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Some pretty amazing images on our sun today to share. As we saw some very large plasma filaments erect from the northeast and northwest regions of our sun, and as well, multiple C-class solar flares. We were keeping an eye on these filaments because they have been acting crazy recently. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming, this is one of them that lifted away, did produce a coronal mass ejection, but not Earth-directed. Amazing images there. Looking at outgoing, this is where we saw a plasma tornado, which I shared in a short the other day. That is what ended up lifting away. And as well, another one on the other side, left-hand side, watch right there all interacting with that large Earth-facing sunspot. Little eruption here as well, Earth-facing. Small CME on its way, as shared the other day, with daily events worldwide, pointing out here the last 48 hours of imagery, and as well as slowing down and showing again these amazing plasma filament eruptions. All these images brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory, Mixed with daily events worldwide, thank you so much for pressing play. Wow. Amazing sun images today. Even in the last few images, a little plasma shot in the bottom right-hand corner. It ain't over yet. These filaments are still dancing across the surface. Magnetic field of our sun is changing, as I shared just two days ago. Big coronal hole in the southern hemisphere was Earth-facing, now turning away. And 171 angstroms here, just another way to see our sun. Again, thank you so much for being a part of this channel. We've seen about 10 C-class solar flares the past 48 hours. Solar X-ray flux has been increasing. Big sunspot region turning away, but we've got a couple more that are pretty fluid. And we're going to have to keep an eye on them. So three Earth-facing sunspots. 4079 is one of the largest sunspot regions that I've seen in quite some time. 4082 and 4081 almost mirroring each other. Current space weather conditions, we are under none. Solar winds are coming in at 457 kilometers per second, still slightly above average. Solar X-ray flux, as you can see here, about 10 solar flares. C-class just in the past 12 hours. Solar proton flux is steadily rising. Geomagnetic activity is dropping as the coronal hole is no longer is facing. Solar winds are not impacting our planet. Here is a look at the current Space Weather Prediction Center showing the most recent coronal mass ejection. New CME model should be coming by tomorrow, so stay tuned. Stay subscribed to Daily Events Worldwide. Sharing here, Lasco 3 image, wide spectrum, showing the last three days of imagery, including half of the images for the most recent plasma filament eruptions on the northeast and northwest regions of our sun. Welcome to the Cosmic Dance Party, everybody is invited. Thank you for over 89,000 followers. Thanks for all the love and support in the comments section. Here's a look at tonight, Aurora's viewline and tomorrow's. A little bit more prevalent tomorrow. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we are well above average, 280 according to USGS. We're going to start out here with the most recent 3.9 earthquake, Petrolia, California. Widespread activity all across and around the California basin. Notable earthquake here. Dillowin, Virginia, 3.0 magnitude. As well, Alaska is hopping the last 24 hours. Japan, Afanato, 4.5. Banda Sea, north into the Philippines and east over into Vanuatu with the 5.5. Deep earthquake here, 585 kilometer depth, Fiji, 4.7 magnitude. Deepest the past 24 hours. 
And here is the largest earthquake the past 24 hours, East Pacific Rise Central, 5.8 earthquake, Cocos Plate into the Nazca Plate, 4.5 ringing out, Argentina, Drake Passage, Chile, up into Ecuador, 4.2, Palora, big eruption there, volcano eruption, quiet through the Caribbean, Notable 4.5 earthquake here, Longuito, Tanzania. And a 4.7 there, Carlsberg Ridge, South Indian Plate. Notable 5.3, Northern Sumatra. That's a look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes. Again, above average, 280 the last 24 hours. Here's a look at the last seven days for shakers and movers around the world. We had a pretty wild week. Large earthquake, Drake Passage. Notable earthquakes all through the Philippines. Notable 5.4 earthquake, Texas. Drill, baby, drill. But this is a little bit peculiar. Rare earthquake there. It was large, multiple aftershocks. Way too quiet. North Pacific Plate. Large eruptions. Kill away a volcano. Speaking of which, here is a look at our SO2 forecast brought to you by Windy.com and our active interrupting volcanoes around the world, 79 of them. Big eruption at Kamchatka. I'm not sure what volcano erupted, but large SO2 plume predicted here and forecasted as well, Central Pacific with Kilauea. Other notable regions around the world, Heavy sulfur dioxide content. Large volcano eruptions. Here's that SO2 plume that came out of Ecuador. 4.7 earthquake there and large volcanic eruption. Other than that, no new eruptions to report today. Now let's get to world weather brought to you by Windy. Showing here low pressure systems bringing rain. Big squeeze is on as a low pressure system comes out of the Gulf this week. Trapped in between two high pressure systems. Watch for that to eventually break down. And then the low pressure systems start coming in from the northern Pacific coast. Watch for about a week's worth of rain in the long range forecast. Towards the 20th, big low pressure system here moving into eastern United States and Canada. Will be about a three or four day in a three, three or four day rain event. Overlooking Australia, Africa, Southeast Asia, strong system sweeping across Korea's and Japan. But other than that, no cyclones forecasted here in the long range, nor typhoons. But notable low pressure system grinding up into Nepal all week long. Monsoon rains are really starting to develop. I'm going to leave you here looking at the North Pacific Ocean. Big high pressure ridge midweek. Watch for that to eventually break down. A strong system moves in from the West Pacific. And the rain train will begin for the British Columbia coastline. Long-range forecast, definitely heading into summertime. But a little bit of snow in the forecast, and as well, a little bit of dust into our atmosphere, showing satellite imagery here today off the coast of Senegal, Africa. Big Saharan dust storm visible on satellite imagery this morning. And we've seen multiple large dust storms, especially across the United States. And all this is sweeping out into the Central Atlantic. Also wanted to share here with you an intense low pressure system that is moving through the North Pacific right now. Deep lower level low. Northwest of Hawaii. In the Central North Pacific. This is going to be a big player in the long range for the BC coast. Heads up, everybody. Much love. Stay aware and prepared. Stay safe and healthy. Much love and good night.
Thank you.